The House vote closing less than an hour ago, 240 yeas, 186 nays. So with a dozen or about two dozen votes is the winning margin for Republicans to fund the government after a shutdown took effect at midnight. The Senate passed the bill around 2 a.m., but unable to move more quickly due to a stall tactic by Senator Rand Paul in a 90 minute floor speech. Paul called his Republican colleagues intellectually dishonest for railing against higher debt and deficits under President Obama, but supporting spending that raises both now. He said the irresponsibility is one of the things that's hurting the markets. You wonder why the stock market is jittery? Well, one of the reasons is we do not have the capacity to continue to fund a government like this. We've been funding it with phony interest rates that are concocted and given to us by the Federal Reserve, but they aren't real. Once the bill becomes law, it funds the government for six more weeks, but also sets in motion a broad two-year spending deal that the Congressional Budget Office says will cost $320 billion, add $100 billion more to that, including interest. The bill now heads to President Trump, who is expected to sign it. I've reached out to the White House about when exactly that will happen and whether it will take effect before the federal workday begins. No word on that, Joe, just yet. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.